Gonna do a little round trip action video. I've got a little playlist of these videos down there in the description if you wanna check them out. What these round trip videos are is I take a load of scrap metal to the scrap yard and then scavenge on the way home. Here's some stuff I showed, or uh, I didn't show on video. Coming home the other day from, uh, I think I'm home from the store, I picked up a bunch of this stuff. That's going to the free tail store, a little lamp holder deal. And then uh, a DVD player, that actually might work. I better hang on to that, I suppose. But the, the usual scrap, fan motor, wires, little heater dealy in there. <laughs> but I open my eyes, pay attention to where I'm going. What do you think? Okay, then. <laughs> How did that get like that? That's weird. You know what? There might be a raccoon getting in here or something. I know that hole wasn't that big. Ah, uh, no. I think I ripped it taking it off, actually. Never mind. That's quite hard to carry now. I've got a lot of people in the comments wanting to buy this snail. Um, I really like keeping this stuff for myself, <laughs> but uh, I suppose if the price is right, I think this is pretty old. See the discoloration where it shifted in its frame. Um, maybe I'll have, I was planning on having an auction video down here and uh, maybe I'll auction it off or something, but uh, I really like keeping that stuff. One of these days when I have an auction video, down here or a sale auction i'll sell some stuff but like some stuff like that be auction i suppose anyways i gotta get to the scrap yard i'm running short on time so i'll take this load in here this is the stuff i found in my last video to wait. <laughs> got time to mess around with it now. This is kind of the can stomp. The two-step can stomp. Alrighty. Looks like they got themselves a new sign. I probably came in on a scrap load. A little scooter competition pulled in while I was sitting here. Okay, I'm real pressed for time. I gotta just rip through this. We got some uh, copper here. Tin shredded garbage bucket there. Number two insulated copper wire. Boom, cans. Like that. And then we got some aluminum breakage over here. This is all aluminum breakage, whatever that was. Ice maker. Weather stripping on a little one out. Little hair flat iron. Uh, part of a doorknob, light fixture. Part of a Swiffer. Uh, cast aluminum off this brass faucet here. Brass, brass, brass. Aluminum, bicycle frame, Swiffer handle. License plate pot off of a, a that's a pot, dirty pot. This off a ceiling fan, and uh, this will probably go tin shred because there'll be like gaskets and stuff in there. I'm gonna go tin instead of short steel. I got a little motor. Have a look at these prices real quick while we're here. Shoot sure alone is 40 cents. I can't put a nickel inside those windows. Uh, motor's 12 cents. Little brackets is a nickel. Short steel nickel. Automobiles, jump cars, 4 cents a pound. 
Six cents on number two copper. This latest not bad. Dollar ninety on number two copper. Ten number one copper. Dollar twenty brass. I guess you see it. Don't say anything. So. Okay, fourteen dollars seventy six cents. Run it down real quick. Lewin and break. It's twenty four pounds. Dollar twenty. Two pounds brass. Two forty. Clean aluminum. Seven pounds. Dollar forty. One pound number two copper pipe. Dollar ninety. Two pounds electric motor. Twenty four cents. Forty four pounds ten. Dollar thirty two. Number two insulated copper wire. 10 pounds 60 cents a pound six dollars one pound aluminum cans 30 cents oh you know what shoot they locked up my tote <laughs> anybody see it over there looks like i'm looks like i'm one tote mcgee today First up, vacuum cleaner cord. Go figure. When's the last time you seen me find one of these? dude that lives here got a little fleet of scooters see this cooler here before the days of DoorDash and the numerous other food app delivery this guy was delivering local food around here he's been doing it for maybe 10 years at least I think I think he does pretty good too I don't know how the digital age is affecting him, but he's still in business. Now we're cooking. My last video, I saw the air conditioner, a window air conditioner. There's a garbage disposal with a cord. I saw the window air conditioner, and it's talking about how it's illegal to cut, cut them open to get the aluminum copper radiators. Uh, also known as ACR I always thought they stood for air conditioning radiators <laughs> 12 years of doing this found out on YouTube it's ACR stands for aluminum copper air conditioner is not bad though come on man give me a break on that but uh this is a like a stand up indoor air conditioner it looks like and uh Let's yank it out of there, see what we're dealing with exactly. I don't see the compressor. <clears throat> so someone has done me a favor here. And uh, I'll get this in my tote in case someone tells me to leave. But uh, let's see how the copper lines have been cut. There should be one around here somewhere. See that right there? That's what I was talking about. Gas comes flying out of there. And if you get caught doing that, you can get fined and stuff. So, uh, I think uh, it almost looks like someone came along. A scrapper, a scavenger came along and did that. I don't see the copper lines in there. You would think they would know, unless they were on foot. Didn't want to carry this something that size, but
That was a nice little sight. That whole thing's a copper pipe. Get this wire off of here before I take it to the yard. But that's nice. Of course, there'll be a little more copper coming off. Bigger air conditioner, but those are two nice little pieces. I'm not sure what the deal is. Someone took that apart for some kind of reason. I don't know what they're after. Perhaps it was broke and they tried to fix it, but that wouldn't explain cutting the copper lines off. Hard to explain that one. this rain will hold off I don't see anything wrong with this board other than it's used a little chip there i usually don't find boards that nice thrown away
those are old and broke stuck Call them scrap, we call them. What do you call this? Is that my floorboard? Get it? Well, that's actually brand new now that I threw all the rubber in there. It comes out of the bottom of the sink. Um, that probably might have been worth a little money. Well, it's always worth money to scrap yard. Uh, Now what am I supposed to say? <laughs> oh, it's missing the it's missing the lever and a nut that goes on there though. It's incomplete, I guess. Probably just better off going straight to the scrapyard. There's lots of stuff you can find, you can fiddle with and try to make more money if you want, but I'm just kind of set in the way I do things. That's a brand new piece of carpet right there. That's a nice scrap, actually. That's got some size to it brand spanking new um i'm all stocked up on that for my cats and stuff that stuff is good for making whatever size you want of course if you have cats or dog cats have a tendency to pee on their pads after a while it's any kind of like sleeping pillow you might buy at the pet store or something they usually end up peeing on it <laughs> after a while good thing about this is it's just disposable you know just toss it back in the garbage when you're done with it. A couple more chunks down there. This 
piece is brass. Sometimes it's hard to get those off of there. That one's nice enough to behave itself on video. Uh, aluminum breakers on that. Aluminum breakers on the lock. This is going to be tin on that. The dead bolt dealy. And then this guy. There's nice wires on there. That ballast might be worth taking off to someone that lives somewhere where it's more valuable than tin. I think it's actually less, less than tin right now, so I'll just leave it alone and I'll cut those wires off later. Mystery cord. What do you think it is? All right, put put it down in the comments. Oh shoot, we can already see it. There's a little motor. I do believe I feel like a humidifier. Never mind, I ruined the surprise. <laughs> How about I put the side with traction down? <laughs> Oh shoot, I was going to take the motor off this Farkle. I've been talking about this. Last video I tried to take one off and it was an oddball deal. Here's what they look like. 
a little tiny guy on there compare that to my last video if you watch that, that big round motor that was on there but uh I'm using one tote so I can't lift it up. All my tools are buried down there. I'm not gonna dig dig all that out. But uh, get a little something out of the deal anyway. But uh see this one doesn't even have it used to be a nut driver would take them all off. Now it's just normal screws, it looks like. It's been a while since I did that. But uh, there's even less plastic and stuff on this deal. Anyway, a little brass, little brass nugget there. You can get off with some channel locks. Hold on there, Speedy. Farkle. 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 It's a Farkle festival. Here, Farkle, Farkle, Farkle. Speaking of the devil, see that right there? Oh. That's a full bottle. Hey, that's not a bad scratch and post. Unfortunately, it's touching that filthy cat bed. That's just, it's just dank. Just, I don't think I have a word for it. <laughs> dank, stank, 
this though you know what i'm gonna have to see hopefully this wasn't touching it too much hopefully that bed wasn't resting on it let's see oh, it smells like incense let's see that's actually a nice scratcher If I were touching that thing, I would know it. I'm going to uh, let my cats shred this thing. Someone was burning some incense. I can tell you that much. What that little corn cob deal is. <clears throat> Looks real familiar. This uh, piece of steel with little corn cob molds. That's for making like cornbread or something. What's up, man? Not bad. You want that vacuum cleaner? That's a, that's a rug shampooer. Yeah, is it yours? Uh, no, but uh. You getting that bag of dog poo out of there? That's uh, nice, of you. I think it uh, I think the tank's leaking. Yeah. See how they repaired it and they repaired it. Oh, some, some caulk or some. Yeah. Something, I was looking something. at that. That's a nice piece of equipment, but yeah. I don't know. It probably works. Yeah, that patch is probably good to go. Yeah, it's probably got some kind of problem. But that's an expensive little baby. Yeah. Once upon a time. Dollars, yeah. Right? Once upon a time, it's nice. Yeah. It's about to be missing its cord. That's why I was asking you if you wanted to. I leave. What I do is I leave a little piggy tail. 
I leave a little piggy tail in case someone wants to come along and test it out. I learned that on YouTube. Hey, take it easy. <clears throat> Not too often a person will yeah. get a bag of dog poo out of the <laughs> out of the hinge of a dumpster for everybody else. Dug this out from under the boards there. It's starting to rain, so I gotta keep my lens pointed down. Uh, that's a weird looking deal. It's got Velcro on it. Is that like a sander or something? Oh shoot, it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. No batteries. Hey, there's that. There it is. It is a sander. Look at that. Kind of neat. Put that in the free tail store. Somebody might do something. It's a problem with this stuff. You either find the batteries or the or the tools without the batteries usually. But if you wanted to start it hanging on to everything you found eventually. <laughs> Next year sometime I'll probably find the batteries for that. I did that with an Alienware uh, PC tower. Really expensive gaming PC. I found like shortly after I started making YouTube videos. And I actually had the exact power adapter for it in storage that I had found maybe four years prior. I thought that was pretty cool. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to test it, you know, unless you, unless I wanted to buy like a, I think like power, power cord, or the power brick for that Alienware PC, I think it was like 80 bucks or something stupid like that. So obviously you can't go around buying specific cords and batteries just to see if something works, you know, <laughs> you cost yourself money time and time again. starting to rain pretty good now so uh, I'm gonna head towards home these are the exact conditions for a rainbow and there it is rainbow conditions there it is look at that that's the boot oh there's the other end of it over there Go find a pot of gold. Hey, that's not too bad. There's too much cloud cover up high. It's killing it out up there. But that's a nice one. Anytime you see a sunset like that, over there, turn around. There should be a rainbow. Hold on a second. We got rainbow action. We've got rainbow action. Let's zoom the GoPro in real quick. I'll turn it off. Hold on, be right back. We've got full rainbow action. Forget about the cloud cover. And then we've got second rainbow here. Check it out. Somewhere over there. Right there. Second rainbow action right there. Oh, oh, look at that. It's trying to go up there. Can we get two complete rainbows? Do I hear three? Three rainbows. I've never seen a triple rainbow. What do you think? You ever seen a triple rainbow? That's perfect conditions. See how the, on the horizon there was no clouds? And the sun was under a heavy canopy of clouds, rain clouds. That's rainbow action right there. Now I can see it. Screen's too small for my eyes. Now I got it. It's getting brighter.
I'm actually zoomed in too far now. Look at that inside the rainbow. Look at the color. Look how much brighter it is inside the rainbow. That's odd. What do you think about that? See how dark the clouds are on the other side? I suppose that probably means the sun's going through. I suppose that would mean something. So, but that's the shape of the sun then, I suppose, is how that's working. So the sunlight's shining underneath the rainbow and outside of the rainbow it's a shadow from the clouds I mean, that's a that's a that's a very very sharp contrast in colors super bright white clouds and a dark even different shades of blue let's try super view super view action there it is That's what we're looking for. What do you think about that? There it is. Hey, right, we've got the we've got the second one. I got the second one going all the way around. It's complete. I don't know if the uh, camera can see it or not. It's right. Let's see. It's right. It's right there. Ish in there somewhere. What do you think? Complete double. Well, that's bright. Look how bright that is. Ultra bright. Oh boy. I'm gonna go through this little town here in between where I'm at now and home. Let's see what I can scrounge up. We've got sky action. Woo -wee. The dumpster full of gold. <laughs> at the end of the rainbow. I'd probably break YouTube if I were to find a piece of gold right now. <laughs> what do you think? Sheesh. Wow, that's a that's an enduring rainbow. I don't know if the GoPro can see it. I don't know if I ever seen one last so long. Boy, oh boy. Sheesh. That would have been nice to get a time lapse of that one. Oh, that would have been award winning action right there. It's still there. thing's still there. My goodness. That's amazing. I thought the sun went I thought the sun already set. I uh, guess not. Huh. thousand dollar ounce of gold but it's a 50 cent copper cord <laughs> does that count
This is where I ended the last video. Uh, I could probably do the same thing right now. Got a few more to check though. kidding me that rainbow is still up there that's absolutely amazing I know the sun's down the sun has to be down must be uh, bouncing off the clouds or something Hey, look at it. You know what? Shoot. That's not gold, but that right there is a brass and copper radiator. That thing's worth about 30 bucks. Check that out. Okay, so the battery died there. I apologize. That brass copper radiator actually is probably about $40. It's heavier than I thought. That's a good, thick, chunky one. It's nice. Uh, find out next time I go to the scrapyard I'll show that on video so that was a nice a nice video for all kinds of nice scrap we got some copper brass copper radiator aluminum copper radiator there was also those old shocks worth sitting with that uh, brass copper radiator battery died I just went up to Walmart found this cool little stand I think it came out of a, a flea market booth but I'll put that in a free tail store that's pretty slick and a uh, little word processor and a vacuum cleaner cord. Let's go figure, huh? And there was some either, de either a dish detergent or bubble, bubble, uh, liquid, blow bubble, liquid, whatever I'm trying to say, in that mason jar. So, I think we got that. And I guess that's gonna wrap up the video. I brought the cooter. I brought the pooch. Oh, you take pooch. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you. Have a good day. Or night, or whenever you watch this. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Good to see you. Ready. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little session. Uh, nothing real super amazing, but uh, that was a nice way to end. A little double rainbow and a $40 item sitting there, we think. You don't find those too often. That's a, that's a bit of a, a rarity. But uh, anyways, as always, thanks for watching! You can go get something to eat. You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Maybe we go find a rabbit. Go find a rabbit. Come on, Pokey.